Okay, everybody. Uh, so I made this Easter bonnet for Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS uh, donor show. Now, when I was in discussion with them about what do we do about a show for the donors, uh, since it's not going to be technically the Easter bonnet competition with all the shows, I suggested the title Hats Off to You. So that's what we're going with, even though there is a bonnet in the opening number, which I have made. The bonnet, the number is about searching for the Easter bonnet. So I said, well, let's do Easter eggs. So anyways, there it is. It's got our red ribbon, the Brobic Hairs ribbon. Uh, the Tom Viola, who's in charge of Brobic Hairs, said, could it have a chickie and an egg with a vote sign? So there it is, a chickie and an egg with a vote sign. Uh, these are all just show logos from a lot of the current, it turns out they're all musicals, but that's what I could do, uh, that are currently playing. Um, it's got a ribbon's arms clasping, clasping the Broadway community. So let's see, there it is, it is done. Uh, it's Sunday night, <clears throat> end of the work week. Uh, don't look at the rest of this apartment, it's chaos. I really gotta get on cleaning tomorrow. Plus, uh, back to the fucking terrace. We've now moved on to pigeon those, like the spiky strips. Cause there was one, I'm still not sure if it's a pigeon, an albatross, a seagull, or a buffalo that keeps showing up before I wake up and getting under one bench and being like, I am gonna blow up this place. So tomorrow I get to deal with that some more. Uh, get to deliver this first thing in the morning and then have my day off. It was a long, busy week. Uh, Thursday, Roger Bart had his portrait revealed at Sardi's. If you don't know, Sardi's in New York is um, ask the restaurant right there in the heart of the Broadway community that's been for decades. Like uh, caricaturists do pic uh, pictures of famous Broadway people and they're all over the walls at Sardi's. If you watch the Muppets Take Manhattan, there's a scene where Kermit's picture is on the wall at Sardi's. So it's it's famous. Roger finally was given the uh, the honor of having his portrait done. So we were like, oh God, what if it's terrible? He wanted to do a bit where like they unveil it and we all go, <gasps> but we didn't do that. It was actually, it's funny because it's taken off of photos of him. So it's very smoldery, which is funny because Roger's such a, such a comedian to have a portrait that's really smoldery. It's kind of funny. But anyways, so that was an honor. Uh, also, interestingly enough, there was a lot of photographers, of course, for the event and broadwayworld.com covered it and did a lot of photos on the event. One of them, you know, pictures of, of the unveiling and then pictures of people with it, the creative team and Roger, the cast and Roger, Casey, his, you know, the leading man and him. And then they did a picture of Casey. Roger was like, come here, come here. So the three of us, my two leading men and me did a picture, which ended up on their site, uh, broadwayworld.com with, I'm tagged in it because I have Broadway credit and Broadway cred and somebody, whoever took the picture, knew it was me. So Casey likes uh, Roger Bart and Billy Hipkins. I was like, well, isn't that cute? So that was an exciting Broadway week. Uh, tomorrow morning at 1130, Monday morning, uh, the 29th, Kathleen Turner will be announcing the nominations for the Drama Desk Award, which is the other, it encompasses Broadway and Off-Broadway uh, awards. It's the step down from the Tonys, but it's kind of, in some ways it can be a precursor to what might happen for the Tonys or not. It's gone both ways over the years. Uh, but anyway, tomorrow morning, we find out whether the drama desk thinks anything of anything to do with our show. And then Tuesday morning at 9 a.m., oh boy, the big news, the Tony Award nominations come out. Now, as I've said, back to the future of the musical, uh, I don't believe we need the nominations to run. I think we have a strong box office and a strong audience appeal that isn't dependent on five Tony nominations or winner best musical. It certainly helps. But, I mean, my hope, my biggest hope, of course, is that both Casey and Roger, Casey and leading man, Roger and supporting actor, are nominated. Uh, <clears throat> I think there's a lot of heavy competition with some of the shows that I don't, I don't think either of them in this particular season would win their categories, but I would love to see them both nominated. It would just be really lovely for them. They deserve it, both of them. They work very hard and their work is, is great. So anyways, that wraps up another Broadway week for me. I really can't wait to, I can't wait to walk this tour. I wish I could film myself walking the two and a half blocks to, this is being presented at the Hard Rock Cafe right up on Times Square on 43rd Street. I'm going like this, like you can see what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> I just can't wait to, and honestly, I've walked more Easter bonnets out of this apartment, sometimes in pouring rain. So the fact that it's gotten warm and it's gonna be sunny in the morning and not windy, and I can just walk this little behemoth God, there's so much hot flu in that thing. Just pounds and pounds of it. 
over there to fit it on the actor that will wear it and then peace out. I'm going to go live my life. I'm not going to stick around for the show. Uh, I don't need to for, for any of it tomorrow. It's for the donors. I just don't, as I've said, it, it's uh, the community not being involved in that way. I, I feel a little like, okay, bye. And honestly, this may be the last Easter bonnet I ever make. I've made so many. Got the pictures and the awards to prove it. Don't look at my apartment. It's filthy. Uh, and that's all. All right. Enjoy your, uh, I was going to say enjoy your weekend, but you're all about to go back to work, a lot of you. So, ha ha.